Here we've got an example where we are required to find the extinction coefficient of a substance at a certain wavelength at 423 nanometer. And uh, we know that a 98.3 micromolar solution of this substance has an absorbance of 0 0.485 at this wavelength when we measure it in a cuvette with a part length of one centimeter. So how do we find the extinction coefficient? Well, uh, again, we write down the Beer-Lambert law, which is A, the absorbance, equals the concentration, times the extinction coefficient times the path length and I abbreviate that path length with an L here and uh, what we now need to do is make the extinction coefficient, this epsilon, the subject, by rearranging this equation. So we would bring C and L to the other side and we get for the extinction coefficient epsilon equals absorbance divided by the concentration times the path length. And all we need to do now is really plug in the numbers uh, that we have. So for example, um, we have for the absorbance, we had 0 0.485, 0 0.485, the concentration we had uh, 98.3, 98.3 times 10 to the minus 6, that is this micro here, that's the micromolar, times 1 centimeter. And uh, Again, that was the part length of our cuvette. And all we need to do is uh, put this into a calculator and we would get for the extinction coefficient something along the line of 4934, roughly rounded. Now, there is certainly a bit of a question mark about this last digit here um, because our experimental conditions are not uh, that accurate to say it's 34 or 30 or something like that. So we need to be a little bit careful here with this last uh, digit here. Uh, what is the unit? Well, we've got a molar and a centimeter down in the denominator, so we would be able to write it as molar to the minus one and centimeter to the minus one. And that would be roughly our extinction coefficient for this particular substance at this particular wavelength. And remember, the extinction coefficient really depends very strongly on the wavelength. Uh, we might even want to indicate that here in the epsilon. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.